Liam Hemsworth warns Miley Cyrus for dissing in flowers. The 30-year-old singer Miley Cyrus has topped the Spotify charts in just one history. A wild theory has surfaced that the singer made obvious references to her ex-husband, including the lyrics about the Miami wildfire that destroyed their home. On Friday, it was officially announced by Spotify that the song had made more than 100 million streams in a single week. What's so special about this song? Why are her fans loving it so much? And how did Liam Hemsworth react to the song? Stay with us and make sure to watch the video till the end. Cyrus and Hemsworth dated each other for almost 10 years after meeting each other on the set of The Last Song. It was the movie adaptation of the popular Nicholas Sparks novel. Well, their relationship was confirmed after the photo of the couple kissing each other and saying goodbye at the airport was trending on the internet. Their relationship was a roller coaster of different emotions as they broke up and got back many times. Let's take a deep look into the relationship to know what caused such a long relationship to end by breaking the hearts of millions of fans. In 2009, their fans were quite happy to see them together, but unfortunately, it didn't go smoothly as Hemsworth representatives confirmed that he and Cyrus broke up in August 2010. But within a month, both of them were seen grabbing each other's hands and having lunch and coffee together. The pair were seen sharing cuddles and whispers while having dinner in California, but in November 2010, they broke up again. Well, this happened again and again until 2012, when Hemsworth proposed to Cyrus with a 3.5 carat ring. The engagement couldn't help them have a sustained relationship as the rumors of their breakup were circulating all over the internet. People even noticed Cyrus with no ring in LA. But after a month, Cyrus was seen wearing a ring and denied all such rumors on Twitter. She wrote, I'm so sick of LA and sick of the lies that come with it. I didn't call off my wedding. Take a break from social media. Hashtag draining. The couple again started trending after it was revealed that the couple postponed their wedding as they were intending to marry each other in 2013. Their teams confirmed that they didn't break up. It's just because both of them are very busy and still want some time. Their relationship was still staggering after their engagement as the couple unfollowed each other on Twitter and two days later they called off their engagement. The couple was criticized by a lot of people as they thought that both of them are using their relationships to stay in the news and have no respect for it. Cyrus even wrote a song about Hemsworth in her album, Bangers, and talked about how her world went upside down after the breakup. Both of them were then seen moving on in their lives as Cyrus was rumored to be having a relationship with Benji Madden and Patrick Schwarzenegger. While Hemsworth was seen kissing the Mexican singer Eliza Gonzalez, their teams confirmed that despite breaking up, both of them are still friends and talk to each other. Well, in 2016, both of them were again seen together enjoying their time at the Falls Music Festival in Hemsworth's native Australia. Their gestures and closeness clearly told that there was something there more than friends. Cyrus then posted her engagement ring on Instagram, which showed that they were back together. Both of them seemed happy about the relationship, and this time they were seen hanging out with each other's family, like Cyrus was seen shopping with Liam's sister-in-law at a local boutique. Cyrus even modified her engagement ring with a gold band set and small diamonds. Cyrus's mother posted a family photo on Instagram, including Hemsworth. Cyrus then explained the reason why the couple broke up in the past was that both of them were so immersed in work and needed some time and space in their relationship. They then started living together in their shared Malibu property with their seven dogs, two pigs, and two miniature horses. When their fans asked how the couple is going to get married, Cyrus responded that she isn't envisioning marriage. In 2018, fans speculated that the couple got married secretly at the time of the new year. And when asked about their marriage, Liam's older brother, Chris, confirmed that Cyrus isn't officially a member of the Hemsworth family yet. I don't know if she's officially <laughs> married to Liam yet or not, but no. we have another, okay, got that. They're not officially not. <laughs> just In November 2018, after the house Cyrus and Hemsworth shared burned down during the devastating California fires, the singer and her family celebrated her 26th birthday with cake and drinks. Finally, on December 26, 2018, Cyrus confirmed that she tied the knot with Hemsworth by sharing the black and white portrait of their wedding day with her fans on Instagram. Unfortunately, on August 10th, Cyrus's team confirmed that she and Hemsworth had split. Millions of fans were shocked after listening to such news. Their fans were still waiting for the couple to patch things up, but Hemsworth himself posted the news of their breakup on his Instagram page. According to some sources, Cyrus was deeply in love with Hemsworth and didn't want to lose him. She wasn't rushing to end her marriage, but Hemsworth himself filed for divorce after eight days. The reason for their divorce was irreconcilable differences. Well, 
result, Cyrus wasn't expecting Hemsworth to file for divorce in such a short period. She was a bit disappointed, but her team confirmed that she is still doing well and has obviously moved on as well. Their property was divided equally, but Cyrus managed to retain the custody of their pets. On January 28, 2020, Cyrus and Hemsworth finalized their divorce, declaring the two legally single on February 22. The divorce process was accelerated because there were no community property assets or liabilities created during their marriage and neither Hemsworth nor Cyrus sought spousal support, according to the court papers. However, a week after the divorce was finalized, the former couple attended the same pre-Oscars bash on February 7, 2020. Well, what would you expect from a female singer like Miley Cyrus to do after such heartbreak? Of course, she will release a song dissing her ex-husband. It's not uncommon for singers to release songs that are inspired by their real love life. No doubt such songs do so well that some artists have actually made a career out of it. Fans usually love when their favorite artists write songs about their crush and they equally like and relate to their post-breakup songs. Especially female artists nowadays are not afraid to drop such songs. They love dropping names or giving hints, sometimes in a way that's so obvious everyone knows who they are referring to. On January 13th, Miley Cyrus came out with a diss track aimed at her ex-husband. The ex-Disney star made her fans crazy with her new song, Flowers, which was specifically released on the birthday of her ex. It is the first single off her highly anticipated album, Endless Summer Vacation, which will be released in March. Her eagle-eyed fans in no time noticed many lyrics that were being referred to Liam. It didn't take much for netizens to read between the lines and list the many Easter eggs hidden in the song's lyrics, as well as its music video. Her passionate fans noticed each and every detail in her music video, although Cyrus herself has not yet confirmed whether her song is pointed to the on and off again relationship with her ex. Well, the very first detail that fans noticed was that it was released specifically on Liam's 33rd birthday. In the starting, you can see Cyrus talking about how she moved on from her toxic relationship and how she treated herself well. She says, I can buy myself flowers, write my name in the sand, talk to myself for hours, say things you don't understand. I can take myself dancing, I can hold my own hand, yeah, I can love me better than you can. Even the song's opening verse was related to Liam and the house where they lived. In the lyrics, it stated, We were good, we were gold, kind of dream that can't be sold. We were right till we weren't, built a home and watched it burn. It referred to the home that the couple shared while moving in together, but unfortunately it burned down during the 2018 Woosley Fire. Investigators on TikTok moved one step ahead and claimed that not only the lyrics, but location is also shading towards her ex. Yes, it is allegedly the same beautiful mansion in which Liam Hemsworth cheated on Cyrus while they were married. In case you don't know, let us tell you that during their divorce trials, it was claimed that the actor cheated on his wife with 14 girls while they were married. Even the dance moves looked similar in the music video, as her fans went as far to draw comparisons between Cyrus's dance moves in her new music video and her past red carpet movement. In 2019, while attending the Vanity Fair Oscars party, a reporter asked Cyrus and Hemsworth what dance number would the couple like to do at that moment? The singer immediately geared up and started moving her body, but her husband Hemsworth clearly stopped her, saying, We're not doing this, not on the carpet. What does a dance number look like between the two of you? Like this. Ah, ah. What? Ah. Oh, you're not for the tour? Her fans are putting both videos side by side and explained how the singer used similar dance moves. In some shots of the music video, you can see Cyrus wearing the same suit like the one Hemsworth was wearing to the Avengers Endgame premiere when a clip of the actor telling his ex-wife to behave went viral. She actually stuck out her tongue in front of the photographers. Her investigative fans didn't even leave Jennifer Lawrence, who was once accused of having an affair with Liam while he was dating Cyrus. According to her fans, Cyrus wore a gold dress to match Jennifer Lawrence as she wore a gold Prabal Gurung gown when attending the Hunger Games premiere with Liam in 2012. Miley herself never publicly called out Jennifer, nor she claimed that her partner cheated on her because of her, but fans think that the American Hustler star was made a target in the latest music video. All such rumors actually arose when Jennifer and Hemsworth had a good chemistry when filming the four parts of the sci-fi franchise between 2012 and 2012. 2015. Lawrence played the role of Katniss Everdeen and Liam played Gail Hawthorne. People loved their energy and started spreading rumors of the persistent romance between them on the sets. In 2015, in an interview, Jennifer Lawrence agreed that she kissed Liam off camera. 
Have you two ever kissed when the cameras weren't rolling? Liam and I grew up together. Liam's real hot. What would you have done? I would, yes. <laughs> I would say yes. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Very good. After noticing this much details in her music video, why it feels like it has something to do about Hemsworth. The song really went well and broke some records after its release. On Spotify, it became the most streamed song in just one week. According to Janet Coffey, Spotify's artist and label partnership lead, it's been incredible watching Flowers break the record for most streams in a single week. Well, now everyone has their eyes on Liam Hemsworth to know how he reacted to the music video. Well, after the music video, he was spotted for the first time at Sydney Airport with his girlfriend Gabriella Brooks. He seemed normal and unaffected as he was wearing a casual gray t-shirt, green slacks, and Converse sneakers. So with that, our video comes to an end. Moreover, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. We have many great videos coming up. See you in the next video.